everyone, Kathy from Kathy's Vegan Kitchen. Welcome back. Today we're going to make a summery, creamy corn pasta. And I'm using corn for the sauce, and I'm going to include corn in the actual recipe itself. I'm boiling some water right now, and over here I have mushrooms, garlics, garlic, and shallots ready to be cooked in a separate pan. If you're looking for a great non-stick pan, this scan pan, is like the best thing ever. It's wonderful. I love it. I have every every pan size that you can have. Um, we're boiling water. We also have some basil. We have some pasta. I have frozen peas and I'm going to show you a little trick about how to cook these peas in with the pasta to save you a step. And I have what's a, the combination of six grilled corn on the cob that I cut off one cup separated, there's three cups total. So five or six corn equals three cups total. You can also use frozen corn, but you have to cook it first, or you can use canned corn that's drained. We just barbecued yesterday and I knew I was gonna make this, so I grilled six extra corn on the cup. Okay, our water is boiling, and the macaroni takes only, um, 10 minutes to make so we're going to cook that and then the mushrooms stir that together and then i'm going to turn on my other stove to medium and i'm going to include the garlic you'll notice they have a band-aid on today because i cut my finger off today and some shallots. Get another spoon. And I'm going to put the mushrooms in here as well. And they're pretty much going to cook at about the same rate for 10 minutes. And then we're going to add the peas and make the sauce. As you can see, the mushrooms and shallots are cooking quite well. I have vegetable broth here to add in the event that it sticks to the bottom of your pan, but you could also use water, but mushrooms have a lot of water in it. It's just back up just in case you need it. There's three minutes left on in, for the macaroni to cook. So I'm going to add the frozen peas as a shortcut to this water. If you're going to use um, frozen corn, you can add it in there and cook it at the same time. And while that cooks for three minutes, it's going to cook the, the peas. We're going to make the dressing. So you need one cup of vet or the pasta water. And yes, I made a little mistake. I shouldn't have put those peas in first. And I'm going to add two cups of the grilled corn. Again, you can use um, canned corn or cooked corn that's frozen. Get every little bit. And then we're going to put the top on and blend it together. And then we're going to turn the heat off of the pasta and the peas and take it over to drain it. I rinsed and drained and you can see the peas are cooked and they kind of go inside the little circles in the pasta. Now I'm going to add the sauteed mushrooms, garlic and shallots. I'm going to add the one cup of corn that I didn't blend with the sauce. I'm going to stir all of that together. And then I'm going to add the creamy corn sauce. I'm 
Mm-mm-mm. Okay, now, a spoon. I'm going to spoon the pasta into bowls. And then I'm going to take some fresh basil, and I love these. These are little herb scissors. They're kind of fun. And I'm going to cut fresh basil over the top. And I like a lot of basil. You can cut all of this beforehand too, or you can do it fresh. And then I'm going to sprinkle with some vegan Parmesan cheese. little pepper and you have creamy corn pasta if you like this recipe and others please subscribe to my channel and comment below I would love to know recipes that you'd like to learn how to make and that I can teach you how to make have a great day